This is the 2021 model year Jaguar F-Pace medium SUV and it's got a bit of an awareness problem. You see, when Australians look for prestige SUVs, brands like Mercedes-Benz, Audi, BMW, maybe even Volvo and Lexus are on the shopping list. If you look at last year's sales figures, Jaguar is not. And to me, that's really perplexing because after my short taste of this car this morning, it's a really impressive machine. Now the exterior changes are all about simplifying the design, giving it a touch more elegance, like sharper LED headlights at the front, a simpler bonnet with less shut lines. We've got a bigger air intake up here and the bumper is much simpler. It used to be a double level air intake down there. Single intake gives you a much cleaner graphic. Down the side, not a lot has changed visually, apart from the addition of the little Jaguar Leaper emblem there. Dimensionally, the F-Pace is exactly the same. So rear occupant comfort is the same, boot space 755 litres. When we get to the rear, again, that simplified design. New tail lights that mimic the headlights, and we've also got a deeper valance, which ties the car to the road a lot better. So it's inside where the real changes have been made and straight away you can see Jaguar's lifted what was already a pretty premium interior. Now don't worry if you don't like the red upholstery, there are four colours to choose from. The big differences in here are all new steering wheel, which if you didn't drive the last one you're probably thinking, so what? But it's a really good steering wheel, puts all of the controls you need really close to hand. There's also this really cool PIVI entertainment system, which centralises your sat-nav, your phone controls, climate control, your ability to interact with the dynamic suspension on this car. It is a really high quality system. Some other areas where they've really lifted is practicality. I've got a bigger pocket in the doors over here. We've also got this wireless charging here for your phone and these really cool little secret cubbies for hiding life's clutter underneath here. Now one thing I will point out, wireless phone charging is a great idea but it doesn't have wireless Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, which to me seems a bit strange. You still need a wire to really activate those systems. Why you wouldn't have the latest generation wireless Android Auto, I don't know. But the biggest story with this car has to be under the bonnet. This is the P400 with a three litre inline six cylinder petrol engine that is all new to the F-Pace. And it is a perler. Let's take it for a drive. So this Jaguar F-Pace P400 that I'm driving here is the middleman in the new F-Pace range. The P400 has a new 3-litre turbocharged petrol engine. It puts out 294 kilowatts and 550 newton metres. What does that mean? That means 0 to 100 in 5.4 seconds, which is impressive. It drinks fuel at around 8.7 litres per 100 kilometres. Not so impressive, but pretty good given the performance you get. Other things on the P400 I'm driving here, all-wheel drive, 8-speed automatic transmission, and we're sitting on big 22-inch wheels. And they're giving a pretty decent ride on this country road. But I don't know if you can hear it, there is a little bit of road rumble, despite the fact that I've got this really trick active noise cancellation system in here, which is using the sound system to pump out negative sound waves to try and cancel out that unwanted noise. Still, it's a good enough volume that I could have a conversation with the people in the back seat or take a phone call. In terms of what else is new mechanically, not a lot. There's been a little bit of work on the transmission, a little bit on the suspension, but we're really talking about just taking rough edges off what was already a very accomplished car. The range kicks off at around $78,000 for the P250, which has a 2-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder petrol engine. Now, all prices have gone up by around two and a half to four thousand dollars, and Jaguar reckons that's more than justified by the new equipment inside. And I tend to agree. If you want more than the P250, that's where this baby comes in. The P400 from just under a hundred thousand dollars, and if you want to spend more and performance is your thing, later in the year Jaguar will be adding a supercharged five-liter V8 engine in the SVR and that thing promises to be an absolute weapon. Of course, if fuel efficiency is your game, there's also a D300. Similar price to this one here, around $98,000, it has a three liter turbocharged diesel engine, and its fuel efficiency is around the sixes, which is gonna save you a little bit in the long run. Interestingly, it's actually slightly cheaper than this petrol one too. So really, there is no hidden cost for choosing diesel 
or petrol. So at the end of the day, the question is this, has Jaguar done enough to the F-Pace to make it worth your money when you're shopping for a prestige SUV? In my opinion, yes. This is definitely worth putting on the shopping list the next time you're looking at a prestige SUV. What do you get if you cross an elephant and a rhino? Elephino.